Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee, get a Bible, get ready for a Bible prophecy moment. Unbelievable what I'm going to share with you. Are you serious? Israel prepares for the mega quake of the Bible. Let me read the headline to you. Let me read the article to you. This is from ynetnews.com. Home front defense minister is saying in Israel that the home front command chief, Eisenberg, has presented at a press conference yesterday, October the 10th, 2012, what he calls the turning point six. It's a drill called the Turning Point 6. It is to be held 11 days from yesterday, in which it will simulate the first time ever a massive earthquake in Israel. The drill will simulate that the situation will be so catastrophic it, that it will be, the, in the drill, they will pretend that 7,000 people have died, 70,000 injured, and 170,000 displaced within the nation of Israel. Let's just say that again. They're preparing in 11 days to do a drill called Turning Point 6. And in this drill, they will pretend that a massive, mega, biblical proportion type apocalyptic quake will hit the land of Israel, killing 7,000, injuring 70,000, and leaving 170,000 displaced and homeless. Let's go now to the Bible. What? Go to the Bible. Go to the 11th chapter of Revelation. Remember, this drill will take place in 11 days from the announcement. All right. If you go to the 11th chapter of Revelation, it talks about the two witnesses. The return of the two witnesses, uh, Elijah and Moses. Or some people would say Elijah and Enoch. Okay. But two witnesses. And it tells you these witnesses will be given power. And they shall prophesy 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut the heavens, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood. You know, we have been seeing the blood, water turn to blood seven different times in, the, in over a 13-month period in seven different locations of the world. They have power to smite the earth with all kinds of plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. The beast is the new world order, the one world government. It will come against the witnesses because they will be in Jerusalem. And the, the beast will overcome them and kill them. Their bodies, their dead bodies, shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So we know it's Jerusalem. And they of the people and the kindreds and the tongues and the nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in the graves. They will mock these prophets. They will kick their bodies around and let them lay there, about like Muammar Gaddafi and his son as they laid in a meat freezer for three days in Libya. I, now wait. And then it says, And they that dwell on the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God will enter into them 
And they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Wow! Are you serious? Here we go. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Wow! And the same hour was there a great earthquake. Now listen, here we go. And the tenth part of the city of Jerusalem fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. The remnant were affrighted and gave glory to God of heaven. This earthquake was so big, so powerful, that a tenth of Jerusalem fell. And the number of men that died was 7,000. Benjamin Netanyahu and his government announced yesterday on October the 10th, 2012, that in 11 days they're going to prepare to do a drill called Turning Point 6. And this drill will simulate a mega quake, a massive quake to hit Israel. So powerful and so devastating they will pretend that 7,000 have died. 70,000 are wounded and 170,000 are displaced. Are they preparing for the biblical earthquake written in the book of Revelation? Is it an accident when they're being surrounded by their enemies? Are we, are we living in an apocalyptic hour? Are we on the edge of eternity? Are we on the brink of the beast? What is something biblical going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ? I mean, let's face it. There's asteroids going to whiz by the earth. There's solar flares of biblical proportion on the sun. We have a star coming, some kind of asteroid that will whiz by the sun in late 2013 and be visible by the naked eye, brighter than the moon. The last time we had a star that bright, well, there was a Messiah that showed up. His name was Jesus. We have another star coming. It will be brighter than that one. What does that mean? And Israel's preparing for an earthquake? Even though they're being surrounded by their enemies, even though Iran wants to blow them off the face of the map, even though they can't trust even their friends, they're preparing for an earthquake of biblical proportion. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And I'm going to ask you a minute. Uh, look, they're preparing for a Bible prophecy moment. Are you preparing for your destiny? You do have a destiny. The question is, is it going to, are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? You can change your destiny. There's two roads. The Bible says that you either, you know, men will enter in at the straight gate. They won't come into the straight gate because they're traveling the long and winding road, the broad road that leads to destruction. And many there be that go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. We're living in a world that's in trouble. Your question is, what road are you on? You can't eat off the Lord's table and the table of devils. Sweet water and bitter water don't flow from the same fountain. Corrupt trees don't bring forth good fruit. Neither do good trees bring forth corrupt fruit. You, look, you're either saved or you're lost. You're either going to heaven or hell. You've got to decide. And the only way to get there is through a man named Jesus Christ. And these witnesses that are going to come are going to testify of the coming of the Lord Jesus. They're going to prophesy it with power. And Israel is preparing for the quake in 11 days. I'm not saying that it's going to happen in 11 days, but it, it should show you the biblical times we're living in. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll pray with you. I'll help you. You can go to my channel page, click on private message and send it to me. I'll respond back to you. We've had 1,037 requests for salvation this year and you could be next.